the synagogue of Satan, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know your works, tribulation and poverty, but you are rich, and I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. Blasphemy, taking the name of God in vain, in the wide sense of professing Christ and practicing unrighteousness, it is blasphemy to dishonor masters by unfaithful service. See the first letter of Timothy chapter 6 and verse 1, or to bring shame on the word of God, Titus chapter 2 and verse 5. A real Christian is a Jew inwardly, Romans chapter 2 and verse 29. A false professor says he is a Jew and is not. Satan is the adversary. Synagogue is simply congregation as opposed to Christ's ecclesia or church. Of them which say they are Jews and are not, there are spiritual Jews as well as natural Jews. Those who embrace the truth embrace a Jewish hope. Acts chapter 28 and verse 20 and are counted as spiritual Israelites. Romans chapter 2 and verse 28 and Romans chapter 9 verses 7 and 8 and Ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 to 14. There were some in Smyrna who were laying false claims to being spiritual Jews but who were in fact members of Satan's synagogue. But are of the synagogue of Satan. The word synagogue means a collecting, a gathering, hence a congregation and sometimes the building where the congregation meets. The blasphemers in Smyrna who said they were spiritual Jews or by interpretation Christians but lied are not called the ecclesia of the Satan because that would imply that they were called out by special request to something. These pseudo spiritual Jews went out of the ecclesia or the church of their own accord. See the first letter of John chapter 2 and verse 19 accusing their brethren falsely of being in the wrong. Having separated themselves they became a congregation of the Satan or the adversary. They were opposed to those who kept the truth by claiming some sort of identity with them, but their claim was blasphemy. Satan often refers to the Jewish and Roman adversaries of the church in the first century. There is no indication here that there was a superhuman being working through those Roman and Jewish systems. If it is argued that those systems receive power and direction from the devil in the sense of a superhuman being to persecute the church it must be remembered that Jesus told the Roman governor you could have no power at all against me except it were given you from above that is from God the Gospel of John chapter 19 and verse 11 thus it is God not the devil who gives power to human governments to persecute his people as he gave them power to do to his son. Daniel chapter 4 and verse 32 The Most High God rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. Thus God was the power behind the Roman Satan or system that was persecuting the Christians in the first century.